do it for the bone broth. Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. So you may have already seen our videos on how to do a bone broth fast, is store-bought bone broth legit, and covering what we consume in a three-day bone broth fast. And if you haven't, go back and watch those videos because those are going to help you with today's content. Yes, and be sure that you subscribe to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel. Click the alarm button right here so that you never miss a bi-weekly release of Food as Medicine goodness. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to hit on the most frequently asked questions, which a bone broth fast is seemingly simple, right? All we do is consume bone broth, but there's a lot of nuance actually to it. So we'll hit on those common questions and we'll talk about troubleshooting a few major issues that clients tend to have. Yes. So I think the first question that comes to mind is who needs a bone broth fast or who is an appropriate candidate for a bone broth fast? And when we're thinking about the general concept of a bone broth fast, we're looking at calorie restricted eating or consuming less calories than your normal intake. We're looking at consuming an abundance of bone broth, which is going to provide us a lot of therapeutic nutrients. I'm a much bigger proponent of doing a bone broth fast as opposed to, for instance, a 24 hour fast or a water fast because we don't want to get into a deep level of nutrient deficiency and we do want to ensure that we give our body ample amino acids to support lean body mass. This is going to ensure that our metabolic activity maintains and the weight that we lose can stay off with greater success. There are key amino acids in our bone broth, namely glycine, glutamine, and we're looking at cysteine. These compounds each have unique beneficial properties that we've covered in why we love bone broth in prior videos. But just for a touch, glycine is going to aid in your body fat metabolism and support ketone production. It also is going to contribute into glutathione, which is the master antioxidant in the body. Glutamine is going to support your enterocytes or your gut cells, and that's where we get the combination of collagen, gelatin, and glutamine to really repair leaky gut. And then when we're looking at cysteine, this is an expectorant that can break up mucus and phlegm and also support white blood cell response, which can aid in immune health. So when we're looking at who's a good candidate, we would think of individuals with digestive distress because a bone broth fast can rest their gut. So instead of figuring out what foods you're inflamed by, you just rest your gut from all foods and really work that repair process with a bone broth fast. Also, this could be used for people that are looking for weight loss or a boost in their metabolic activity. That calorie restriction when supported with the amino acids can really support body fat loss. We can see individuals using this as something that they can use after a weekend off. Maybe they were eating more inflamed processed foods or on a vacation. A bone broth fast can be a great way to push the reset button and kind of compensate for the overindulgence. And then we even think of a bone broth fast as a tool for autoimmune conditions and chronic inflammation. Okay, so a lot of reasons to do a bone broth fast. Let's first cover this common question, how often can I do a bone broth fast? Yes, so many patients in my clinic will pulse this in bi-weekly and they'll do them for three day windows. So this may be like Tuesday through Thursday every other week, like the first and the third week of the month. You can even consider doing a three day bone broth fast every week if it fits your goals. And it's something you could do quarterly or as I said, seasonally, depending on a reset that you might need from overindulgence. Okay, how much should I eat or drink, I guess, during a bone broth fast. Yes, so at minimum, if you're consuming exclusively bone broth, we want you to get two quarts per day. One of the easiest ways to do this is with one of our favorite sources of bone broth, Fond. They have beautiful flavor combinations, which really makes this a delightful elixir to sip. So this is the butternut squash with rosemary and smoky chipotle. Each jar is just shy of two cups. And so at 14 fluid ounces per jar, you're gonna get 20 grams of protein per jar. So you're hanging out with 80 grams of protein with your four jars and very close to that goal of the two quarts a day. So you could do a simple bone broth fast where you do four jars of fond bone broth. And if you haven't tried them yet, make sure that you check them out, see the link below and use the code AllieMillerRD at checkout and you'll save on your first order. Yes, like what a simple way to do your bone broth fast, just order a 12 pack of Fawn and you're on your way. 
We can also split it up a little bit where we do maybe three to four cups of bone broth, so about half that amount, and one to two meals. Yes, so these meals we'd wanna be mindful are going to be protein and vegetable focused because we do want to keep insulin levels down. When we're looking at a bone broth fast, one of the big picture goals is to upregulate autophagy or the cellular process of cleanup, as well as regulate markers like mTOR, which is a biomarker we look at in regulating growth and metabolism in the body. Now, the biggest response to mTOR is driven by insulin. So we'd wanna make sure that we keep blood sugar levels stable. And this is also why we're not fans of doing a juice cleanse or a juice fast, which would be a total roller coaster for your blood sugar, when we're doing a bone broth fast, if we want to incorporate a little bit of food here and there, protein and veg would work beautiful. So we could do a leafy green salad with a protein of choice like salmon or a grass-fed burger patty or a bone-in skin on chicken breast. And we could even do a snack of vegetables like a crudite. Or maybe you do that poached miso cod like we showed you in our three-day bone broth fast video as a way to still use bone broth as your base but add some protein and veg and flavor to it and something to chew i think can help yes and if we're looking for food as medicine boosts we want to think about compounds that are going to be high in antioxidants foods that are anti-inflammatory and also detox supporting to get your best bang for your buck in your bone broth fast. So this is meaning that we wanna add herbs, seasonings, and spices to our bone broth. So slices of ginger, or adding in fresh oregano, or thyme, or turmeric root. We also could consider alliums to help with the detox process and those sulfur-containing amino acids. So this would be roasted garlic, or onions, or shallots. Uh, even topping with chives or scallions. And then finally, we'd consider the cruciferous family for additional detox support. We could chop up cabbage to make a fine base, which could mimic like a noodle or a ramen-based broth. We could roast cauliflower or use things like broccoli. And I think before we go too far, let's just cover the question, wait a second, you're telling me to eat, but you're also telling me to fast. Won't those things break my fast or will the bone broth break my fast? And it's just not that simple, right? Right, so we think of fasting as like a dial versus an on-off switch. It's not that all of a sudden you broke your fast and you're kicked out of the fasting mode. As long as you're in a calorie-restricted mode and you're regulating your insulin levels, you're going to get the therapeutic outcomes. And that's what I mentioned prior when we're looking at things like mTOR and like the autophagy process. Okay, and then next up we get this question a lot. Should I keep taking my regular supplements and is there anything that I should add to upregulate or help this process out? Yes, so absolutely stay with your supplement regimen. You may want to ensure that you have one to two cups of bone broth in your belly before you have a multivitamin or a mineral-based supplement because those could drive some nausea. So that first cup or two of bone broth might at least set the tone and give you some protective coating to prevent that. But there's definitely things that we'd want to layer in in an abundance mode to help to support a successful bone broth fast. And the first one that I think is the most important is our Reset, Restore, Renew detox packs. So when we're looking at our Reset, Restore, Renew detox packs, each box is going to have 60 different unique packets in here, and each packet has five different capsules. There are going to be three white capsules, which are our phase two detox support. These are the sulfur-containing amino acids that aid in the encapsulation and excretion process of detox. We also have one in here that is going to support phase one activity, and this is liver and gallbladder activity, driving the activation of toxins. And then there's an antioxidant blend in each pack as well to protect against the oxidative stress that occurs through the detox process. And it's important to note that when you are calorie restricted, you're going to be getting into your adipocytes or your body fat cells, and that's where many of the toxins are stored. So as your body is going into that deep freezer of fat as fuel, you're liberating toxins, and taking the detox packs can accelerate your body fat loss, as well as reduce toxicity that's liberated in the process. And then because a bone broth fast can be slightly stressful on our body, we also like to incorporate the relax and regulate formula. This is also a great formula to keep your bowels moving during your three-day bone broth fast because you're not getting as much food volume and we want to make sure that you're having a daily bowel movement to support detoxification.
Absolutely. And I've seen individuals, again, why we love bone broth fast versus just a water fast, having issues with electrolytes. So we are getting potassium, we are getting sodium in our bone broth, but the magnesium often we're not getting high amounts of in our bone broth. And so we can see with calorie restriction, heart arrhythmias or palpitations, mm -hmm. and the relax and regulate really plays key in that as well. And then the final thing I would think of as a supportive supplement would be considering our BioC Plus. This is gonna aid in your cortisol metabolism and how your adrenals regulate your fight or flight responding chemicals. We know that stress is not sexy and that that can hinder your metabolic results. So this is one way to fuel that gland. And also if you're not having antioxidants in the diet and you're just sipping broth, this is going to offset the phyto compounds we're missing with the bioflavonoid blend in our BioC Plus. And you're also getting vitamin C, which is generally found in produce. Yeah, and especially if you're doing this for immune health and kind of yes. upregulating, resetting the immune system, I think that's a fantastic tool. Absolutely. And then next up, what if I have diarrhea during my bone broth fast? Yes, so especially for individuals that don't have a gallbladder or have stagnation in their gallbladder, a higher fat bone broth based fast can be somewhat stressful. So one thing we look to do is add lemon or apple cider vinegar as a morning shooter. You could also do warm water with lemon to make like a tea. This is gonna drive the bile flow from the liver and the gallbladder and that's gonna help in gathering the stool or reducing the loose urgency. And to take that to a next step, I would definitely consider if you already prone to loose stool using our digest aid enzymes. So our digest aid enzyme has ox bile as well as lipase and HCl, hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid aids in the absorption of the protein in your consumption and that ox bile will also help to emulsify if again you have bile and gallbladder issues. And then those detox packs that we mentioned are also key here, especially the liver gallbladder support in there is going to be really helpful if we are dealing with a little bit of stagnation. I also recommend throwing in our phytofiber. So we talked about this as a tool in our gallbladder health episode, um, but you can add a little bit of this either just to plain water, you could make a slurry with your broth, or maybe you do a couple teaspoons of coconut yogurt with like a berry or two mashed in there to get some fiber and really slow things down and bind. And that can also work like a broom to help to ensure right. that you are having good robust movements if you're dealing with a little bit of sluggish bowel. So phytofiber works in both worlds there. Okay, next question. I'm hungry. I'm drinking my bone broth. I'm doing all the things yes. you said, but I'm hungry. So the first thing to make sure is, are you getting 60 grams of protein? Again, that's really important to maintain that lean body mass, which supports active metabolism, but that's also gonna give you good satiety. So are you getting enough broth? Again, it takes two quarts on average to get that 80 grams of protein, which gives you a little bit of abundance based on that minimum of 60 grams. So if you're still hungry, maybe you'd want to add some biological protein that you chew. And that's where mentioning like adding the cod to your bone broth or tearing up rotisserie chicken, all of those options would work just fine. Uh, the next thing I'd consider if hungry is layering in some of the antioxidants and phyto compounds, like maybe doing cauliflower rice in the base of your bone broth soup. And I would say, eat a meal, you know, it's fine. Again, this is a dial, it's a gradual shift. You're gonna get your bang for your buck of your bone broth fast and your calorie restriction by doing three jars of bone broth and one meal, as opposed to eating three meals and snacks throughout the day and having dynamics in your blood sugar response. And then last but not least, I think Gabacom would be a yes. fantastic tool if it's more of a desire to munch, crunch, and a mental, emotional craving. So this is a great off switch. You take one to two Gabacom, maybe you go for a walk around the block for 10 or 15 minutes, and that should really knock off any cravings. Yes, research supports that GABA can actually offset impulse control, which is really important when we're dealing with the upstairs mind thoughts of all of the cravings that we have during a calorie-restricted fast. Okay, and last but not least, I'm having another unfavorable symptom. So whether it's fatigue, a headache, or body aches, I think those are some of the common complaints that we get on this bone broth fast. Yes. So we'd want to upregulate our anti-inflammatory support, and I would go number one for the super turmeric here. Super turmeric is a great alternative to an NSAID, 
uh, and it's not going to like an NSAID would actually destroy gut lining and can drive gastric bleeding. We know super turmeric can actually have therapeutic effects in the gut while reducing inflammation in the body. So it inhibits similar pathways that those drugs do without the side effects and can boost antioxidants and detox support. So super turmeric can be taken about two, three, four a day to offset the body aches and headaches. And then if dealing with fatigue, I think adding some extra salt would be yes. really, really helpful. So whether you're pinching salt into your bone broth, which is already pretty salty, or you're just licking salt from the palm of your hand, that can be a great tool if we're just a little bit sluggish. Um, I also think it's important to note, maybe you need to dial back your regular activity during the bone yes. broth fast, right? We don't wanna go to a HIIT class or a spin class when we're in this caloric deficit. We wanna be focused on stretching, gentle movement, walking, taking it easy on ourselves, and resting. Yes. So this was a jam-packed video. I hope you all learned a lot. Be sure to like and comment below on something that you're gonna change in your bone broth fast, as well as any additional questions that you have on how to successfully do a bone broth fast. And for you YouTube watchers and subscribers, we wanna offer you a special discount for just $1.99. You can purchase our 10-day detox ebook, which has a protocol to support food as medicine for a 10-day detox and we incorporate an option of a three-day bone broth fast in the middle there. So make sure that you take advantage of that. Use the code below and thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Did you say the code below so, twice or just I don't know. Okay.